Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations here with Dell EMC's most powerful rack server, the PowerEdge R940. This is a four socket platform that can support up to six terabytes of memory and is ideal for in-memory database applications like SAP HANA, mission critical workloads, and online transaction processing. Outfitted with four processors, the system is equipped to take advantage of the high-end Intel scalable processors. Let's get started. What's new on this system? Quite a bit. Let's start with the chassis. Instead of 4U like the previous generation R930, the new R940 has only 3U. The reduced chassis height means you can stuff even more capacity and processing power into a 42U enclosure. The new Intel Xeon scalable processors also deliver a 27% increase in processing cores and a 50% increase in bandwidth compared to the E5 2600 V4 processors. That's support for more NVDIMM modules to sustain your high performance applications with resiliency. The platform can be purchased with just two processors or a maximum of four. Choosing the right Intel scalable processors for this system is crucial if you want to get the most performance and memory support. There are no thermal restrictions on processors, so the system will support all of Intel Xeon's scalable family. However, most of the scalable family only support a maximum of 756 gigabytes each, and with four of those chips, you'll only get three terabytes of memory total. Those with the M designation after the product model number can support up to 1.5 terabytes each. So if you want something close to the six terabytes this system is capable of hosting, you will need those M processors. Are you interested in the Dell EMC PowerEdge R940 server? Whether shopping or ready to buy, IT Creations has this server in stock. And for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase of a system listed at $10,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing. IT Creations has over 7,000 servers in stock and the parts and components for custom configuration. You really should check out IT Creations. HPE's two-processor model has been optimized for software-defined storage and delivers 50% more UPI bandwidth. With dual processors, the system will support up to three terabytes of memory using 128 gigabyte memory modules, running at speeds of up to 2666 megatransfers per second. The two-processor version can easily be converted to support four processors with the addition of the processor expansion module, or PEM, and two PEM power boards that plug into the system board. With the PEM installed, not only do you get two more CPUs, but also 24 more memory module slots and two more PCIe riser slots to either side of the processors in memory. With four processors, the system has a maximum capacity of up to six terabytes using 128 gigabyte load-reduced DIMM modules in all 48 memory slots. Another factor to consider is the UltraPath Interconnect, or UPI. UPI is the newer, faster version of Intel's QuickPath Interconnect, or QPI. UPI supports up to 10.4 gigatransfers per second, whereas QPI only supports a paltry 9.6 gigatransfers per second. The bronze and silver processors have only two UPI channels and are best used for deployments with one or two sockets. More UPI links means improved inner CPU bandwidth for IO intensive workloads. And again, we have a disparity that only the gold and platinum processors can solve as they are the only ones with three UPI links each, providing the best performance on systems with four or eight processors. You can also install up to 12 non-volatile DIMM modules for up to 192 gigabytes of non-volatile memory maximum using 16 gigabyte NVDIMM N modules. NVDIMM modules deliver extremely low latency and high bandwidth using the system memory bus. One, two, four, six, or 12 NVDIMM N modules can be installed either in the two processor or four processor system. NVDIMM requires a battery to temporarily power the system while data is moved to the non-volatile storage on the memory module. NVDIMM modules must be paired with a minimum of 12 RDIMM modules. Of course, you can load more than just 12 RDIMM modules, but 12 is the minimum. There are two pages in the NVDIMM N manual dedicated to showing most of the NVDIMM configurations on the R940, including one with 47 RDIMM modules paired with just a single NVDIMM N module. If you use NVDIMM modules, you won't reach those top memory capacities, but NVDIMM modules do operate at the same top transfer speed and provide more resiliency for your data in the event of a power outage. Compared to the PowerEdge R930, the R940 supports six terabytes less memory, but you do get faster memory at a top transfer speed of 2666 megahertz compared to 2400 megahertz. And remember, six memory channels per processor on the R940, so there's a pair of memory modules per channel as opposed to six memory modules per channel in a memory card riser. The whole memory card riser thing has also been replaced with a more typical motherboard layout with memory modules inserted directly on the motherboard as opposed to the eight memory card risers on the R930. Storage remains similar with support for an 8-bay configuration and one with up to 24 2.5-inch SATA, SAS, or nearline SAS drives. But now you can also install up to 12 NVMe drives along with a complement of 12 SAS or SATA drives for applications that may require scaling on the fly. That particular combo will scale up to 122 terabytes. 
The 24 bay HD backplane connects to the motherboard using the integrated S140 controller and an expansion board. Another configuration supports dual PERC controllers for enhanced I.O., again with an expansion board. The NVMe configuration requires the NVMe backplane, an expander board, and with 12 NVMe drives up front, three NVMe PCIe expansion cards mounted in two separate expansion card risers. Basically, each NVMe expansion card will support four NVMe drives in a x16 PCIe slot. The system will also support several PCIe NVMe cards supporting up to four terabytes each. A Boot Optimized Storage Subsystem, or BOSS, can help your system start up super fast and won't take up any of those front-mounted drives you want to use for RAID. The BOSS is a PCIe card that has two M.2 storage devices and can be used in a redundant fail-safe configuration to support your OS. An optional microSD card module with vFlash can provide fail-safe hypervisor support when used with two microSD cards. The module also features a vFlash card on the other side for use with iDRAC for scripts, image files, and updates. Management of the system is easy with Dell's integrated tools including iDRAC 9 with Lifecycle Controller and OpenManage using the OpenManage mobile app. iDRAC 9 has been updated to support even more functionality. The system comes with iDRAC Express, but can easily be updated to Enterprise. iDRAC 9 is your backdoor into the system with agent-free management tools that enable you to receive alerts, troubleshoot, and remediate problems either at the chassis or remotely, even when the system is powered down. You can use the web-based graphic user interface or access iDRAC through the RAC admin command line. A dedicated micro USB port, both front and back, give you direct access to the management interface by plugging in a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. By pressing the optional Bluetooth Quick Sync button on the left server here under the Information button, you can quickly access system status, troubleshoot, and remediate problems using the OpenManage mobile app. OpenManage also helps automate and simplify server configuration and deployment with the next generation console and server profiles. Two other great features are Zero Touch Configuration to automate configuration of your switches on the first boot without administrator intervention, and Server Lockdown, which prevents unauthorized changes to the system either intentional or unintentional. With two processors, there are seven active PCIe 3.0 slots. With a processor expansion module, there are two more riser slots, each of which can support up to three PCIe add-in cards. With six more slots on the PEM, plus the seven on the system board, that brings the total to 13 expansion slots with a four processor configuration, 10 of which are by 16 slots. Network daughter card options support a range of connection speeds, including one, 10, and 25 gigabit per second with various combinations of dual quad and combo ports. You can also place up to seven PCIe NICs or HPAs to make up for any I.O. deficiencies, and that's just with two processors. With all four processors, you can load up to 13 40 gigabit NICs or 13 HBAs or 13 NVMe PCIe storage devices. Those are just some of the highlights. We don't have time for all the PCIe options, and there are quite a few. The reduced footprint means you can install four R940s in the same space three R930s would have occupied. As Dell EMC says, the PowerEdge R940 delivers uncompromising performance to power your mission critical applications, maximize application performance, and eliminate I.O. bottlenecks. And I'm inclined to believe them. If you want to learn more about the R940, I've placed a few links in the description below. For pricing on this system, click that link. And if you have any questions on the R940 or any other platform, post them in the comments section. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.